Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Monty and Jeff and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Monty's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Jeff is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any little correction. And if you remember with Pug, it is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Rich will be dropping him off and you'll be getting his training equipment. And probably just like with Pug, down the road you won't need to use it. But for training purposes for right now, I definitely would. Now he is sitting very nicely at Jeff's left. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing, if you remember correctly, is proper leash walking, and the command is Monty heal. <laughs> At this point, Monty has a job to do, and that is to stay even with Jeff's left leg, not forging ahead or lagging behind, but staying with Jeff. So if Jeff turns, he should turn. When Jeff stops, he should sit. We have squirrels making nests in the trees, and I think that's what's distracting him back there. Nice automatic sit, very good. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Your long sit stay can be practiced indoors as well as outdoors. And you're going to start out at about 30 seconds and slowly work up over the next couple of months to three minutes. Stay. When Jeff returns back to him, he's going to quickly walk all the way around him, ending up back where they started at heel position. And they take off healing again. Now if he doesn't sit, he gets that little tug and release and you repeat the command, no, sit. No. Very nice. Stay. Jeff leaves him in another sit, stay. This time he is going to use his name and he's gonna call him. This is your recall or your come on command. And you have to be just a little bit careful of how excited you are with that come command with him because if you get over the top so will he so you can use a pleasant voice but don't get too excited with your c-o-m-e and they'll demonstrate that come on command again I don't know what he's doing today with his automatic sets. Not, not too much. Jeff's going to call him. That was much better. And then he brings him back to heel. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your down commands. And if you remember... There are two. The first one is, is down from a heel. So with him seated at your left, left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down. No, just down. No, down, no, down. Good, there you go, stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home you're going to start out at about a minute and you're going to slowly work up to five. Now at this point you can either return back to him like you did on the sit stay or you can call him and Jeff chose to return back to him. So we'll heal him out of that. No jogging. <laughs> Jeff likes to run with the dogs which is great but sometimes they get overstimulated for video purposes. Oh, he completely knows this, as you can see. 
With Monty, I think you just have to be a little bit stronger willed than he is. He's definitely a smart guy. He's just, just a puppy. Monty, come. Jeff calls him in, has him sit. That's it. There you go. You did it. And then he returns back to heel. And the last command that we're going to demonstrate is the down from a distance. So you're going to leave him in a sit stay. And your homework will be to lengthen out the distance that you can go. It's the only time you're going to use your right hand to give the command and you drop him into a down from standing in front of him slowly back further and further away when you're giving that command. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Monty's formal on-leash obedience commands and honestly he does them better than he just did for this video but their dogs are like children and that that happens sometimes when we turn on the camera. It wasn't awful but it wasn't the best he can do and I know that. Um, We've enjoyed having Monty and really enjoyed seeing Pug again and thank you for choosing us to train your boys. Okay. Have a safe and happy time. Stay home <laughs> and we'll drop him off tomorrow. Bye-bye.